following along, just stay on this tour map, please, until we enter into the theater. And also, I'll remind you about turning off the flash while we're in the building. I know digitals like to help you out and reset, so periodically check your, your device, make sure the flash isn't going off. And I'd like to do an interview, uh, introduction of Mr. Hurst's plan for his home here, so you know what, what it is that you're seeing in this museum. But after that, I'd like to throw it open, uh, field any questions you have. I definitely want to hear from you. And if it's a question about art that we, you see, then please ask me while we're still in the room so that we can all see what I'm talking about when we're discussing it. So he did each of his estates in a different style. This one he chose Mediterranean style from the 11th through the 17th century, predominantly Italy, southern Spain. Which is not to say that those are the only centuries or countries or even continents that he's going to uh, be buying art for this estate from. Because Mr. Hurst said art should be used and enjoyed. He certainly enjoyed his art. He was called Hurst the Collector. He was a lifetime collector, had warehouse after warehouse of art collection, some of which that in, bought during his lifetime he never laid eyes on. Went from the art dealer to his warehouse, 